Now then, how are we doing? So, tonight we're going to make beef stroganoff. Now, normally you'd use sirloin ribeye or rump or fillet, but I'm tight and I'm a Yorkshireman, so we're using silver side. We're going to bash it out so it makes it a bit more tenderer, if that's even a word. So, bash your meat for as long as you can and then cut it into strips. Get rid of any fatty bits that you don't want or gristly bits. So you've got a nice big pile of meat in the middle of your chopping board. Then we're going to scoop that, you guessed it, into a bowl. Then we're going to add a bit of spice, so we've got some paprika. That's last of my paprika and all, I am gutted because I did like that one. Smoked paprika, lovely. And add some oil, because I forgot to put that in first. Then a bit of salt, a bit more salt, a bit more salt, and then a little bit of pepper. Then endos going in. We love a bit of endos with beef. And then we're going to mix it up and set it aside. And that's a red onion. Now we're going to top it, tail it, cut it in half, and then chop it up into bits like this. That's one, and that's two. Jobs are good. And then mushrooms. Now, these were on the way out, so I've used them up. Waste not, what not. Now we strong enough, you like to use a lot of mushrooms. Then we've got this garlic. Then we're gonna slap it with a knife, slap it again, and then the skin comes off. Cut root off and chop the bugger up. As easy as that. That's one done. Now another one. Slap, slap, peel, chop root off, and then dice that one up and all. I'll have to bit of skin there. So we'll put that to one side, get pan on, bit of oil, then we're gonna whack his meat in. And then start browning it off. Now like a numpty, I put too much meat in. So now it's gonna stew rather than fry. And it's gonna take twice as long to do. If you're doing it, cook it in batches and it'll cook a lot quicker and it'll brown off evenly. But I can't be asked, so I'll just carry on doing it like that. Pour some more water out that we're in bomb, but we'll keep that for later. So garlic in, so it don't burn. And then we're gonna pop all that in a bowl to the side. Pan back on, some more oil, then we're gonna add us mushrooms and red onion. Stir it around. Start sweating it down. So at this point, give it a bit of a stir. You can see it's starting to wilt. I added a bit of salt to draw moisture out. Stirry, stirry. A bit more endos, because I like Endersons. Then pop lid on. You can see, just about done. I'm gonna stir that round a little bit more, then we're gonna chuck his meat and juice back into the pan. And then we're gonna add his Dijon mustard, because I prefer Dijon over English. And then we're gonna put a little bit of creme fraiche in. Now this is reduced fat creme fraiche, because I'm a bit chunky at the minute, so I'm trying to cut his calories in. Every little helps as they know us. Then we're gonna add some green stuff parsley and then we're going to stir that through and then we're going to put in a little bit of nutmeg I like nutmeg, anything nutmeggy in a white sauce always tastes lovely so stir that through get your spoon, have a little taste and it tasted bloody amazing so pop lid back on, let it simmer for a bit now we did boil some pasta in the kitchen so that's tagliatelle I'm gonna stir that through. Normally I'd have it with mashed potato chips, but I ain't got no bloody spuds in, so and I ain't going to the shop. So it'll do. So stir that through, get it plated up. Look at that. Right. Plate it up. And there we go. Beef stroganov. Uh, finish it off with a bit of garnish. Bit of parsley on. Just like that. And that's it. I'm gonna scran it. I'll see thee.